what's up guys and welcome back to the doctor's office uh so if you guys watched the other two videos uh one talking about the tie-ins with blood hunt one then blood hunt two of course we are now at the tie-ins after blood hunt two i'm going to get into the ones that i did like that i have the most to say and we're going to be doing a couple of flashbacks of things that i said in the blood hunt one review video that i did because i i'm 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 telling y'all i am right like i i can't stress this enough all right so the two that came out after blood hunt 2 that came out on the 29th um were black panther blood hunt 1 midnight suns blood hunt 1 we're going to start with black panther first so if you watch the blood hunt 2 review i talk about how uh, first of all, in Blood Hunt 1, we lost T'Challa, okay? Um, he had been impaled on Bloodstorm 1's fist, and he was dead, okay? They turned him into a vampire. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Blade that did it. Uh, actually, I know it was Blade that did it. We have this conversation happening in the comic book. Blade turned him, and... In the beginning of Blood Hunt number two, he sends T'Challa to Wakanda and he says, you know, you can go ahead and try to resist me, but you really can't. And so that is pretty much the beginning of the Black Panther Blood Hunt story is him like trying to resist. And so the very first thing that he does when he gets into Wakanda is he goes and he takes the heart shaped herb, um, heart shaped herb, and then he goes into the ancestral plane to ask Bast for help. He does not want this and he is actively trying to fight this. However, the Panthers that are there don't allow him to talk to Bast. They are quite literally going off on him because how dare you bring your poison here and think that we're going to help you. But it's it's very clear that it's not something that he wanted that he asked for it's literally something that happened to him and but they are not willing to help and they kind of like kick him out but after he takes the heart-shaped herb he has his senses at this point he can think he can talk he can navigate through the world okay so he actually gets attacked by the guards but he's able to tell them like like bro it's me <laughs> calm down and he goes out into the city and they are being attacked by um like by a, a demon monster thing uh, i think it's called adzi um and it was feeding on a woman and they end up killing he ends up killing it and he runs into his sister shuri she allows him to drink her blood but he can tell that she's she's so upset and so disappointed and so hurt so you know they're ha like she he ends up leaving because blade is in his head telling him i sent you there for a reason so he's supposed to be going to look for this ancient temple that has been hidden away and blade wants it and blade is going to destroy wakanda if t'challa does not get him access to this temple and I think that that is very, very interesting so he's still trying to resist he's trying really hard and he's having a conversation with shuri and shuri mentions the fact that latveria is actually not being attacked right now because dr doom is doing a pretty good job of protecting it and maybe they should talk to doom and he's like fuck no do not go to that man and she's like hello we're dying the people are dying we we need to go somewhere and it cannot be here and he realizes that the longer he stays the more danger he's putting his people in and he as a king cannot do that and he's like you know i'm the ruler and she's like you cannot rule yourself let alone any of these people that would be me get him girl tell him about himself because even though he's trying like actively fighting this he's not gonna win this now he actively decides that the only way that he can protect them is by going into exile so he goes to like uh their area where they keep all of their panthers and he's there by himself he has a spear mind you the door Malaje are trying to take care of the vampires in town and everything like that and the panthers are like mm -mm. it's time it's go time um and then it's supposed to be at some point in time probably in the next one that he has a showdown with his sister 
and I am not looking forward to that. I am and I'm not. Uh, this is putting a lot of strain on family and it is heavy. Like this is heavy fucking hair, okay? Now, what I like about this particular story is the fact that the, the, the writing when it comes to T'Challa because T'Challa was, even in Blood Hunt, T'Challa was putting everyone over himself so that whole entire situation that happened in blood hunt when the blood coven attacked them surprise attacked them and they were trying to figure out a way to get out of there and impossible city was not able to just like transport them the way that it normally would and so he had emergency evac set to get sam out of there like his immediate thing and him and Sam are like this so his immediate first thought was I have to get my brother out of the, out, like out of the fucking way so he got Sam he's like impossible city emergency evac start with Captain America Sam out of there and even when uh the Avengers are at Doctor Strange's house talking like you can tell that Sam is so upset when it came to T'Challa he said you know we lost Thor we lost Londa and we lost T'Challa like it was hurt where he's saying like we lost T'Challa. I also admire the fact that T'Challa is trying to actively fight this because again he is the champion for Bast and they were pointing that that panther uh gods were pointing that out like you're supposed to be the champion and you come here to this ancestral plane with fucking poison in your blood like what the hell and he's just like i need your help and even after uh he fought that demon he had run into his sister drank some of her blood and then left and was trying to like figure out a way out of the situation who did he call for he asked Bast for help and blade is like sitting here calling him pathetic and like you're gonna do what i say and as much as i love t'challa and as much as i love how he he is not making this like he's not making it out of there now a couple of things that i find very very interesting uh the fact that when the when blade was giving the rundown of the steps of what was happening he mentioned an atlantean ritual okay it was an atlantean ritual that was performed so that the people who use the dark force from the dark dimension were turned into portals uh, to cause the sun death. We also have T'Challa being sent to Wakanda for an ancient temple for a ritual to be performed by Blade there. Okay. And then we have Latveria run by Dr. Doom and it's t'challa not wanting his sister to go to doom even though that would probably be beneficial i think it's very very interesting that these three powers are in play in some way shape or form the fact that litveria is not actively in play because it is currently like a sanctuary state is very interesting but the cause of this came from atlantis a second cause of this could possibly come from Wakanda and it kind of sounds like he's trying to force the hand of the third big power which would be Dr. Doom at the Varia. It's very interesting. I just think that that's very interesting. I think that is a very interesting setup. Don't you? Don't you think that that's a very interesting setup? Uh, moving on to mm. actually I, I had one more point um what i said in the blood hunt 2 review where i think this is going to end very badly they are putting a lot of strain like i said they are putting a lot of strain on family um and the thing is that you know brielle does not know her father is looking for her and she does not know that her father is the villain in this she doesn't know any of those things yet um, and she's about to find out and her father is siring a lot of people a lot of powerful people and Shuri has absolutely no qualms uh, about killing who she needs to in order to protect Wakanda and she kind of almost essentially she didn't even really hesitate uh, to pull a knife on her brother she just hesitated to kill him and I feel like 
it's going to come down to the killing of Blade and or the killing of T'Challa and <sighs> this is big y'all. Now segueing into the one I really wanted, Midnight Suns. So in the first Blood Hunt book, Doctor Strange and um, Clea are trying to perform the Montessi formula. The Montessi formula is a spell that is designed to kill all vampires, period, right? So we are introduced, uh, reintroduced actually, to a woman named Victoria Montessi, whose family made up the Montessi formula. One thing I like about Miss Victoria is that she is a daughter of Chathan which gives her quite a bit of connection to Wanda. Following me? Are you following me? Now, she's helping um, like a village. Uh, there's some man who is possessed in a cave. She goes to assist and she is in control of an enemy of the Midnight Suns. The exact reason the Midnight Suns were created. Lilith. She was able to summon Lilith with no problem. That in and of itself is very interesting. But before we get there, uh, Blade is in a diner. Now the Midnight Suns have made all of these connections and there is like a like a military thing. It almost looks like they're MI-13. I'm not sure what group of people this is. But it seems that they're very very close with Blade. Especially the person that's sitting in the diner talking to him. And he slaughters all of them. Um, and it's the way he's talking. It's driving me crazy because he does not talk like that. Because he's like, you know, the guy he's talking to is like, how are you? Like, is everything okay? I am well. What the fuck? Why are you talking like that? Um, and he's like, Blade starts like gearing up. And he's like, is someone here? And he's like, something is here. Slaughters all of them. Every single one of them. They didn't stand a chance. And then he's standing in the diner, fucking crying, saying something is here. Then we get Miss Tulip. Now, Tulip shows up at the Midnight Suns like headquarters almost uh, to talk to Do uh, J blah, 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 Danny Ketch. And she's like telling him about like this whole situation is Blade, right? And he's not happy about that either and he was like you want us to like kill him like what and she's like i don't think he would do this if he had a choice and he's like so are you saying like he doesn't have like what are you saying and she was like well like i found out that you know he drank dracula's blood and like He's gotten increasingly aggressive. Now, remember uh, from the blood uh, or the blade storyline, when they went up against the Adana, the Adana bound her spirit uh, with a spirit from hell. And so she's like constantly tortured. So this is kind of weird for me because we're coming off of that because she didn't get healed from what I remember, um, unless the, the Adana dying healed her so i'm not sure about that one mm. anyway um they uh, she ends up talking to johnny blaze and johnny blaze like yep yeah, i'm in let's fucking do this shit like let's get to him and see what's really going on and so she gets johnny da danny damn she gets danny on board they are hunting down a monster and you know they're ready they're ready to do this. They're ready to find out what the hell is going on with Blade right now. Um, however, they do end up having a, or is it Victoria? Hold on. It is Victoria. My memory is terrible. Um, so Danny actually ends up going to go talk to Victoria. And she says that if this is what they're going to do, they need to be prepared to kill Blade. 
and he's like we don't want to kill him we're just trying to figure out like what exactly is going on and she goes she says if he is turning into what i have foreseen the midnight suns are going to have to be the ones to kill him like he's gonna have to die <sighs> oh my god when i tell you I'm sitting here telling you now. <laughs> and mind you, um, I didn't mention before, Tulip is by herself. Rotha is not with her, which is kind of interesting too. Now, the reason that this one has me kind of, because I'm, I've been kind of saying it, I really just think that Blade is tied up in this. And as I said in a, like a video ago, some of this is definitely dracula's fault um and i'm not saying that dracula did it on purpose i don't think dracula knew that this situation was gonna happen but he was definitely prepared for it you know what i'm saying and i really just there's so much going on tied to that blade series and the adana and how simple it was for the adana to just be gone you know what i'm saying like i because you know i said the adana has not been killed properly because it just felt too easy at the end of that at the end of that blade series when that assassin killed her with the light bringer it felt too simple you know what i'm saying like it's there's a lot of things at work and it is driving me insane at this point i just cannot wait for this story to continue these tie-ins are tying do you hear me um these two tie-ins uh black panther and um midnight suns i've been waiting because i just knew that they were going to give me the details that i felt like i was missing and they did not disappoint you know what I'm saying? And even though it's not the complete list of Midnight Suns, we're supposed to get the rest of them. Of course, they're going to go like grab the rest of the people. But I just I love the idea of having a team that Blade has been a part of and they basically feel like a brotherhood like coming into play. And the idea that they would be the ones to have to kill him and then they're going to end up. I think they're all going to end up having to team up with Brielle um in order to get this done because again he is actively looking for brielle he sent he sent the blood coven to go get brielle he sent fucking um why he sent miles morales to dr strange is still a question mark for me um but his vampire like miles morales's vampire like powers activating in the presence of brielle crazy so <sighs> the core things the things that blade holds dear are in the balance right now the writing for this is just it is so good i am so excited for these things right now like marvel is putting their foot in it do you hear me i i cannot wait for like the x-men tie-ins like <sighs> y'all just don't understand and it's something every week right it's something that's coming out every week so we do have more coming um i'm definitely going to try to stay on top of these the um tie-ins are going to be kind of like one minute shorts on here um unless i just have so much to say like this could not be a short i have way too much to say about these two way too much like i had opinions okay i had opinions i have theories as you guys just heard so um unless i have just like a shit ton of things that i need to say they are going to be some like quick rundown one minute shorts that i'm going to throw onto the channel just to keep you guys up to date so do make sure that you and then of course once that group of tie-ins is done leading up to the next blood hunt i will do like an overview of like you know just in case so thank you guys for coming back to the doctor's office and this blood hunt madness is about to just be delicious bloody delicious 
But thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you for your next checkup.